a fertile maize crop with a large yield. There's a farmer who owns that proud crop. It did not feel like a good day for the farmer who returns to work in the morning after cultivating as usual. It seems that a wild elephant has come to their fertile plantation. The distressed farmer begins the rest of his work. But before long, it starts to show signs of a problem. The farmer is frightened by the roar of the plantation, but he goes without fear. Unfortunately, the giant who damaged his plantation has fallen into the cultivation well. No matter how much the animal bothers their farm, the farmer does not care about it and helps the animal. He immediately called wildlife officials and asked for help. As soon as the news is received, the officers report to work even before starting their duties in the morning. Officers arrive at the elephant's location as soon as possible and inspect the area. Meanwhile, the farmer who owns the plantation and the owners of the other surrounding plantations provide food and drink for the elephant. It is a great help to the elephant, who is tired of trying to get out of the cultivation well all night. Farmers in the dry zone generally use these crops for their livelihood. In order to avoid the problem of water shortage in the dry zone, the farmers dig a well in the middle of the cultivation. The main reason is that they live in less comfortable conditions. Humans cut down the forest inhabited by elephants and started plantations, causing the elephants to start damaging the crops due to lack of food. It is a common sight to see elephants roaming the familiar roads and falling into unfamiliar cultivation wells. At this point, the elephant seems to be working hard all night and making no effort to get out of the well. But people who realize that it needs food and water are tempted to give the animal the food it needs. Meanwhile, the elephant can be seen breaking down a nearby corn tree and eating it. But the owners of the plantation does not care about it and moves to help it out of great compassion for the animal.
and everybody in Nigeria. In the meanwhile, the officers seem to be cutting an inclined path to get the elephant into the wild. There, the elephant can be seen biting a little uneasily. You can see how a long hole is made to pull the animal by the front part of the backhoe. These are wild elephants. It thinks that these people are trying to hurt him. But wildlife officials do not give up their efforts. The elephant tries to land once on the cut path, but is unsuccessful. Once again, with the help of the backhoe machine, the elephant is able to land. Officials and villagers who came to help can be seen cheering. At the same time, firecrackers are being used to stop the elephant from returning to the village and sending it back into the wild. It is not to harm the animal, but for the good of the animal itself. When the officers find out for sure that the elephant is not harmed, they leave again. This marks the end of another day in which the officer's efforts paid off. Subscribe to the Elephant Zone YouTube channel. Join us to experience such beautiful elephants.